Hello and welcome to this new video in the Python programming playlist. From this video onwards, we start a multi-part series relating to regular expressions or you can call them as regex as well. This is the part one of the series. Let's get started. Let us first understand what regular expression or regex is. Regex or regular expression is used to find pattern in a string. You can also call it as in short a pattern matching way. This is available across the languages, not just limited to Python. It is also available in Scala and any other languages you would come across mostly. And the way or syntax is just about different, but the logic remains the same. So here in Python, we are going to see how to use this. As I said earlier, this will be covered across multiple videos, starting this one. The first thing that you have to do is you have to import a module called RE, which stands for regular expressions. So we'll say import re. Now, let us see this by an example. So we have imported re, we'll say re dot control space to get the help. The first method that we are going to use is match. In this, you will have few things. Now, in order to know how to use this function, we need to know the arguments. So we'll take the help of the function help. So in the help, we'll pass re dot match. Here what I'll do is I'll remove the brackets and first run them re.match. So we have three things pattern, string and flags. Pattern is the pattern that we are searching. String is the actual, the entire string in which we want to search. Flags for now you can consider them as optional. So let us see this by an example. Let us say re.match. In this I want to find a pattern. So double quotes let us say I want to see if the word hello, the string hello contains h or not, this is the way you will see it. The third argument is optional for now. Let us just run this. So this will return us an object called re.match object. It returns us a span and the match. Understand these things. Span is nothing but where did it find that. So this is nothing but the index starting from the zero index up to the first index, but we'll ignore the first, the number one. So it has found h at the zeroth position and whatever the match was. So in chart, this is the syntax of it. And if I come down, remember, this is case sensitive. If I say h in uppercase, it won't return me anything. And in order to see this, what you can do is you can store the results of this since it returns them. Let me store this result in a variable called result run and try to call result you won't get anything but instead let us use print there you go you are getting none now we have covered the none concept just in the previous video and how easy it is for us to relate now that was the purpose of covering none before regex here none means the absence of a value what this means is we are trying to find h uppercase h uppercase h in this string hello but since there is no uppercase h over here you will not be able to find it hence the return result of this is none which means this value was absent in this pretty simple so this explains you also the concept of none now what you can do is in case you want to ignore the case whether or not it is uppercase or lowercase you can use the third argument by this way re dot re is nothing but our import that we have done and use ignore case over there in this way now you run and if I say print result I will definitely get an answer which is now the case has been ignored which is uppercase h and it has found at the very first index this is the way fine there is another way another method called a search which is the same let me show you by help first so this is one good thing that you can see what arguments are there. Same pattern, string, flags. And if you scroll up here, try to also read this. Try to apply the pattern at the start of the string, returning a match object or none if no match was found. And what does search do? Scan through the string looking for a matching match to the pattern, returning a match object or none if a match was found. So this will scan through the entire string. However, match will only look at the beginning. 
let us take this by an example i'll just copy this as it is just keep it here for beginning i'll just run it in this way re dot search and here let's say result 3 keep this as just normal lowercase to start with and let us print the result run this so here we got this 0 comma 1 however if i search for e over here i'll still get the result but i'll not get this result if i use match over here let me copy this here you see none so one big difference between match and search that is the only one match always star finds the pattern at the beginning of that string however search will scan through the entire string but both wherever they find the first instance of that pattern they will stop over there for example if i try to find l over here since i have two instances of the l it has stopped at the second position even if i had multiple l at the further of the string it will not find it so keep that in mind another thing which remains the same you can also ignore the case in this let's say re dot ignore case this stays the same with search so the only difference with search and match is match will always look at the beginning of the string however search will scan through the entire screen string wherever it will find it will stop at that at the first instance so these are some differences and if the result is not found it will return none none means again we know is the absence of a value and we can relate none much more in a clear, uh, clear way as compared to earlier now we can see it practically now let us move further i'll paste this first i would want to use match so here what i want to see is whether or not this string hello it starts with any particular character one or more characters so in python regular expression module you have many meta characters which can help you so meta characters the first one that we are going to see is this caret symbol which will get by shift and the number six key below the function keys which you have on your keyboard there is six key and shift and then the six key so if i want to see whether or not this string starts with h this is how you will use remember there is difference between only h and caret h let us run this there you got the span if i write maybe i should copy this if i just prefix other word before the a i will get none so here understand when you write caret symbol it means that you always want to search whether or not the string contains the character at the beginning at the start and if it is starting by h again that is case sensitive the same thing will go with search as well so if i use search this will be same either i'll get none either i will get none or i will get a value run this there you go so there is difference between writing only a character and then writing character prefixed by caret so that caret signifies that you want to only search if the string contains that character at the beginning or at the start obviously you can write multiple characters as well either with search or find search or match sorry so i want to see if this string starts with he so i can write this way i will get none let me remove this i'll get the value 0 to 2 which means 0 and the first index and then try prefixing multiple characters as well that's fine but as soon as i write something in between it is not able to find heel at the beginning because there is only single e so you can write one or more characters so this was the first meta character called as caret moving on next what we can do is another thing is ends with so the meta character for ends with is the dollar symbol so i want to see if this string hello ends with o so i will write o dollar run this 
So there you got the match at the fourth index. And I'm not covering the ignore case since we have already seen. If I write any other character, let's say I, as I can see, I is not at the end, hence it will return none. Copy this again and paste. What will happen if I use match? Will I get the result? Let's see. Here it will return you none. The reason is because match will always start from the beginning. So here that's where search comes into play. So you will have to use always search if you want to use ends with. And obviously you can use multiple characters at the before the dollar symbol, so which will signify you are looking at these three characters if those are occurring at the end of that hello string or not. One more thing is obviously now we have seen this directly. You can also save them in variables. So you can say this is my pattern. For example, O dollar and this is my string which is hello and then what you can do you can pass these into variables test string and run them so this is also fine so this was just an introductory video on how to get started with regex we have seen how match and search are different and uh, we have seen two meta characters caret for the start with starts with pattern and dollar for the ends with there are many more things that we are going to cover further in this series for now i'm stopping in this video we'll continue in the next part thanks for watching and stay tuned